So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and one of the biggest surprising drives that I will do this year is this all new 2024 Nissan Z. So we're in the automatic uh, transmission, hope you can see that there are the paddle shifters. I'd like to thank everyone here at Nissan Philippines for their Nissan VIP experience with the Nissan Z and the Nissan Portal displayed here at Alabang Town Center. So I already did my full walk around tour. I think this is even the exact same car I did a uh, few months ago back at Rockwell. Check it out on my channel. Neat and great of this, pairing this is a 3 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that produces 380 horsepower and 475 newton meters of torque. This one is mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission, it's not the usual 8 or 7 like with some other sports cars out there. So, what I have not demoed though during the experience back in Rockwell is all of the tech bits here and there and I even forgot that you have a manual handbrake over here your electronic adjustments and reclining functions are all here in the inner seats not usually here all on the door steering wheel pretty okay you get the numerous buttons here even for cruise control and tilt and telescopic yep very good and here I have not showed you back in the day you have your instrument cluster with a lot of uh, information displayed over here and then for your infotainment system this is equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and I'm finally to demo to the reverse camera I wish you just a little bit better however it's a sports car it is very much forgivable and more info here you can see your tire pressure monitoring system fuel economy I'll try to give that later if it makes sense for a sports car right this is it going for a first dive in a Nissan Z one of the most uh, unexpected cars I will drive this year a bit of a dumb moment there I thought this had auto hold factor but you have a normal conventional handbrake which is good though and of course there are only two modes here I see a normal and sport mode and I'll just leave it in manual mode because let's enjoy this car first impressions immediately okay going over hump okay not so bad and going over bumps and humps even manholes yeah pretty all right too Yep, you have to watch out for this because this is kind of bumpy. However, it's pretty much tolerable. I was not expecting this kind of drive. Ooh. Wow. Right, that was just low speed rollout. Yep. <laughs> you can hear the engine singing. And that was just a tap of the throttle. Wow. And despite too surprisingly being a turbocharged V6 engine, there's a lot of... What? I mean, there's a lot of sound which I didn't expect. You see when it's a turbocharged engine, yeah, there's usually no noise going in that much. I don't think this is even pumped in audio. This is just a natural sound. Right, and then steering feel, even though in whatever mode you are in, uh, standard or sport mode. I don't know, actually, overall, it's there's a lot of heft, but if you want even more heft, you can just flick it to sport mode and... Yeah, this thing will fly. I can't believe it. And there are actually a few test drives already today. So I think I'm the fourth or fifth one already. It, this one's been averaging 4.1 kilometers per liter. That's not bad whatsoever because I heard a lot of people hooning this around because for obvious reasons. And ooh, I was not expecting to drive this car. This is one of my short list of the cars that I will buy. So... Oh, what, what have you done Nissan Philippines? No joke. I was literally shortlisting this sports car already. Maybe we have a winner, but I need to drive what I want to do first on my channel to see if this is literally the sports car that I will buy. Right here. Just one time only. It's actually good. It's very responsive. Wow. It's no dual clutch like, but I will say it's very close. So Nissan did a good job tuning with this 9-speed automatic transmission. Oh, wow. And the V6 just screams the nuts out of this car. This is amazing. Even though I would say it again, it's a turbocharged engine. You can, you can hear the V6 singing. <laughs> so I am very fanboying at the moment right now because no joke this is one of my dream cars I cannot believe I'm I'm driving one of these for the first time it's, it's such an honor and like two in my walk around review back in Rockwell you get your triple bezels here on the dashboard itself so I was nearly at full boost 
already while uh, doing that pull here in uh, some here in Alabang. Then the speeds just doing uh, until third gear. This gets up to speed really really fast. And not to my surprise though, being a nine speed, I like how Nissan was able to tune this car too. The gearing is pretty short, so if you're going to hit the national speed limit, you're already around in third or fourth gear already. So there's a lot of play and engagement with this Nissan Zine. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I'm so amazed, and the fuel economy is pretty much the same. While well, it's plummeted now to 3.5 kilometers per liter, but that's not bad for 383 horsepower V6 turbocharged engine. And cornering, it's flat. There is no joke. It is so flat. Holy <laughs> shit! Super solid. Right, that's just the one lap I will do with this Nissan Z. Sorry if the sh camera is shaking a lot for obvious reasons, but what an honorable experience. Again, I would like to thank everyone here at Nissan Philippines for their VIP experience here at Alabang Town Center. And special thanks to Miss Shai of Nissan Alabang who assisted me here today and with future reviews coming up in their dealer. And to Sir Mark over here on camera who assisted me here personally in his test drive. So, hope you guys like and subscribe and maybe in the future, Nissan Philippines, we can have a land out of this along too with the GTR. <laughs> this will mean a lot and probably one step closer for me making a purchase of this Nissan Z. Bye-bye.